okay, so we just arrived in the hotel, which is absolutely beautiful. We don't know how to turn the lights on. Apparently there ain't no Yeah, apparently there ain't no ceiling lights, which is quite strange. Um and my does that one work? Yeah, that one works. But anyway, this is our room, which is absolutely gorgeous. We've got um for takeaway some mini cheddars, chocolate, uh what was that called again, babe? From Toby Carvery. Fudge cake. No idea. It is my birthday and Dan got a slice of um cheesecake. Right, let's go to the bathroom. Which is absolutely lovely. No bath. What you what are you doing? You're trying to turn lights off, but there's no lights. <laughs> there's no lights, darling. Right, I'm going to have a shower. You're going to nip down to go and grab some food, aren't you, from the local chippy. Well, hello. Yes, I know I look silly, all right. <laughs> but it's not silly, actually. It's a lovely gift I've just received. So I've literally just got through the door about 40 minutes ago, I suppose, actually, um, from being our way. So I'm guessing you've all missed me. And if you haven't, tough, you got me back. <laughs> so first thing I did is get some dinner on. All right, so I've set myself up for a challenge this week. Um, really want Dan to eat a little bit better because we've been away, we've been eating out a lot. You know, McDonald's here, KFC there, Chinese and stuff like that. So I said to Dan, let me do the shopping today. I'm picking all your meals for the entire week. But because we've been traveling and everything and time shoving on, all he's having today actually is a jack of potato, <laughs> bit of spam and some baked beans. Nice easy dinner, but it's still better than total total rubbish <coughs> Right, so I've got some a few thank yous to say actually So let me just I've had to go back back in time on this so Let's see if I can do this. So I did on the day on my birthday get What did I get? I got a lovely message from the lovely JP and Sammy personal for Joe message. Thank you I've actually got a card from them too um, I also got an email delivered to Dan's Travel Trolls, I think it was, from the lovely Rachel Dijon, Dijon, um, and it was like an e-card, so thank you so much for that, it was the cutest, it was good. Um, Tony Roddis, I'm not sure now if I've said thank you to you or not, but I'm going to say thank you again anyway, because it's irrelevant, I'm very appreciative, so thank you very much, Tony Roddis. That's for a super chat. Um, next one, oh Pete Mac, that was for a super thanks as well. So thank you very much, Pete Mac. And on my birthday, the lovely Ficky, Fix, the lovely Ficky, she's so lovely, she really is, sent me a, a birthday wish as well. I'm sure somebody else did, but I'm not entirely sure. I think she might have been the only person. I did have a few on my comments, but uh, I think there was two, two or three on my comments wishing me a happy birthday as well, which I awfully appreciate. So what did I come home to? This is actually a gift from the lovely Linda that I've just opened on the Travel Trolls. This was here when we arrived. Um, this is actually handmade. It's actually headband. I've obviously got it over my... <laughs> now, I love these. And look how beautiful that colour is as well. The way that just all sort of blends in and stuff. That's beautiful. But I don't know how to wear them. So that's something new for me to try now tomorrow. But I, I'm going to keep that aside for now. Birthday presents, what I received, I'll go into tomorrow. I'm not going to do much more filming today. I just want to show you a few cards that I received. So I've got this massive one here. There we go. You are just all kinds of bloody lovely. Massive one. You have to guess now who these are from. One's from JP. <laughs> this is from the lovely... Um, this was from the lovely... Oh! That's why that's another gift I've just got as well. This is from the lovely Gary and Rachel. Sorry, I forgot this one as well. I've already put him up in the corner, so I've just come home to that as well. This card's from the lovely Linda. Thank you very much, Linda, my lovely. So, 
I got three cards. Apart from these two, I got three cards. This one, this one, and this one. Can you guess which one came from JP, came from Dan's mum, uh, or which one came from Dan? Let me know down in the comments which one came from Dan. That's what I want to know. Which one do you think came from Dan? <laughs> I'm sure you got that, <laughs> if not. Yes, yeah, so all it is is jack and potato today. I'm glad to be home, if I'm honest. We've been away, five five nights we're away. So today is sort of like the six days, so to say. It's quite nice being home. Had quite a lot to do. I've got a lot of washing now tomorrow. Not tremendous a lot, but I've, I've got washing to do. And I'll run through my presents tomorrow as well. But I'm gonna cut this one off here, for now anyway, and just finish this video with a show and dinner because that's all it is now today. I'm not going to do much more filming. So going to love you and leave you. See you at dinner time. And that's Dan's tea. Jack of potato, beans. And yes, he got his spam. I'm not that bad, you know. I've actually made myself a salad wrap with a spicy bean burger. Are you hungry or starving? Yeah. Good, beautiful morning. Yes, I'm still in my pyjamas. There's a reason for that. I'll go into that in a minute. Anyway, just chilling, listening to my Alexa this morning. Alexa, turn down. Don't want to get copyright. <laughs> Dad got me hair for my birthday. So that was cool. So I've done my tidying. I'm now just about to start on a few, just a couple of loads of washing just to keep on top of it, you know? So about to get my first load on the go. Then I've got to prepare dinner for Dan. Mm, might do that. But first things first with me, which I'd like to do, apart from sort of washing and everything is Alexa turn down oh sorry I forget when I do that now that's going to affect yours <laughs> okay right so I must remember that it was funny we were sitting here yesterday editing and Dan on the video on the editing video like he said don't want to say it in case it happens oh I'll say it Alexa play Oasis is what happened and then our Alexa started going off. So yeah, I can... Oh no! Alexa, play morning songs. Oh, she's too sensitive. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Right, so first things first this morning, I would like... I haven't really brushed my hair. Well, I haven't brushed my hair. <laughs> so as you all know, I've had a lot of hair troubles and stuff like that. So I ended up dyeing it brown, uh, dark, sort of black went a black it was some kind of a darky brown Alexa turn down please um but I'm not really enjoying the color don't get me wrong I you know I've got a little buzz out of it it was nice to experience the dark color I'm just wanting to try and lighten it a little bit my grays are coming my roots on this now must be about that long I've got grays and everything down there <laughs> Which I didn't even know I had because I've always sort of been blondy, you know. I knew I had an odd one. Right, anyway, so I've got some hair colour remover. I'm going to try and do this gently. So I've actually got two boxes of this. <clears throat> but I'm going to do one today, give it a week, maybe do another one, see how it... So there's no bleach in this. It's a Max Strength Removes Permanent Dye, which this wasn't permanent anyway. It was semi uh, ammonia, ammonia free vegan removes unwanted colour now I know it's not going to totally remove the colour but if I can try and get as much out as I can I want to try and work on getting my hair the way I'd like to again a, a nice bright colour for the for the summer again so that's my plan this morning anyway but first things first I, I, I really do need to sort of um, well, actually, I could, I suppose. I'll, I'll give this a read and get this slapped on my head because no doubt that's going to sit on my head for half an hour, isn't it? That's why I'm not getting dressed particularly at the minute or doing anything with my hair. Right, first load of washing is on now. Now, to start, if you hear squeaking, it's because it's not balanced on me, Matt. Now, to start with, you get three bottles, which I thought, oh, that's a bit confusing. <laughs> so you get the remover, the activator, and the buffer technically that's just like your end uh, the buffer is just like your shampoo at the end now this has to actually sit on my head for 60 minutes so I need to quickly get this on otherwise I'm not going to be getting dressed today and it does actually say 
not suitable for bleached hair metallic dyes henna dyes vibrant dyes so and it does advise also to do skin tests and stuff like that so this could be um i don't know is it going to be a disaster i don't know just have to give it a go yeah, you can take that off for us could you quick babe this needs to sit on my head for 60 minutes so i've got to hurry up get it on <laughs> thank you darling I could just get this on my head. Now as soon as these two are mixed together, shake for at least five minutes and then immediately place on your head. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So let's see, um, my head, my scalp can be quite sensitive. So I hope this ain't going to irritate me. But hey yo, girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. <laughs> Yeah, apart from sort of cooking, cleaning in my hair today, I think that's about all I've got to do. I've got a lot of sorting out this week, both me and Dan has, and we meet a getting rid of stuff, but I can't do all in one day, can I? So, uh, that's probably about it. Let's give this a good shake for five minutes. Slap this on me head. <laughs> I'll tell you what I've also noticed as well, I'm going bald, sort of baldy patches, which is quite embarrassing. I feel like it's very noticeable with this. I just hate my hair a full stop anyway. <laughs> oh, never mind. It definitely has grown a little bit though. Maybe I should have brushed it. It does say though to definitely put on dry hair, so. Is it definitely five minutes I've got to do this? Oh no, it's only 30 seconds. <laughs> right, let's slap this. Right, I need to cut this off and slap that on me head. Also does say to ideally place a towel over your head. But, um, you know, protect your clothes. I can't really see what can go wrong with this really. So I'm just gonna, oh, where's my gloves? Oh, that's old fashioned, isn't it? Getting gloves with your hair dye like that. <laughs> is that old fashioned? To me, it is. <laughs> well, I need to get into the mirror and try and slap this on sensibly. Is it coming out? Oh, it is coming out, yeah. Yeah. I just hope this ain't going to irritate me because if it, if it does irritate, gonna have to literally start washing off straight away so now this has got to sit on my head good lord oh that stinks that's strong oh god let me open that door oh that's going right back my throat i suppose it's like a reaction is it like with I'll tell you what it's like sulfur like lighting matches and all the sulfur's going down your throat well, it's like, I suppose it's like a reaction with the hair dye, is it? I don't know. I hope I've got enough in here though. <laughs> it does say to section your hair and everything, but I think as long as you get it all, it ain't gonna matter, is it? We'll have to get to the mirror in a minute, mind. Now this isn't damaging my hair, so I can do without the comments, please. <laughs> yeah, it's like light and matches down you. Oh, it's been all down my face. So I suppose I'm gonna have to wear a bag on my head all day. Oh. Right, now it's time to get to a mirror. Dan's retching with the smell. <laughs> it's awful. I must admit, I've never ever used a colour hair remover before, ever. So this is my first time, new experience to me this is. I 
must say you get plenty in it actually. I definitely do. I know my hair's short but it's sort of going quite far. Just getting the last bits out now. So so far, no irritation. Um this is too much in this bottle. <laughs> And I'm not really particularly noticing anything yet. Well, I'm not. <laughs> right, that's my last handful. It's loads, you get loads. Oh, there it goes. Fell on me slipper. stinks though well, I think that's that I'm gonna take that off yeah that stinks well, I knew I had some in here somewhere I couldn't find them all the weekend hour from now hopefully be blonde again <laughs> or light brown <laughs> just went out to see Dan he's taking the mickey out of me <laughs> right so what I do need to also do now is this coat is a complete pain if I'm honest <laughs> kind of kind of regret getting it but don't get me wrong it's lovely and warm it's just massive it is absolutely massive, it's really heavy. And on one of these, I get sick of the sight of something. And I'm sort of sick of the sight of this now. So anyway, for now, I'm gonna put this away in the bag because I'm gonna show you something else I got for me birthday from the lovely Dan. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can't drag everything out, but um, his mum and stepdad got me a pair of pajamas. So I can't drag those out. Lovely pair of pajamas from Next. There's summer ones, so I can't really wear them at the minute. Um, some jewelry, only sort of like um, costume jewelry, but these lovely heart earrings, which I'm gonna. I did wear them on me birthday. I think it might have been. Yeah, I did. And I'm gonna wear them for Valentine's Day. And I've got this lovely sort of necklace as well. That's not to hand either, actually. But it, because it's sort of costume jewelry, you can't wear it all the time. For one, I do get sore ears, but for two, they'll discolour and stuff like that. But I'm definitely going to wear them for Valentine's Day. Um, what else did I get? Um, oh yeah, my teddy up there. It's not a buffy. I called it a buffy. It's a boffle, isn't it? I should have known that because I have actually just bought a birthday card. And it says Boffel. Haven't haven't written it out yet, mind, but <laughs> so I should have known that. Um, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I got a lovely jumper from Dan's mum as well and stepdad. Uh, it's red, so I'm going to be wearing that Valentine's Day as well. It's gorgeous. It's so fluffy and delicious. It's so warm. So that's nice. I'll wear that Valentine's Day. And oh, I'm struggling to get this in. And what did Dan get me? He got me, oh yeah, he got me, um, somebody had said, why are you wearing Halloween, um, like, doodah on your head? Well, for a start, right, it was absolutely freezing, we were in Cleethorpes, and my eardrums were actually getting really sore inside my ears, and I had to go and find some earmuffs. The only last one pair in Boys, I think it was called, in Cleethorpes, was this. It was the only one pair. And to be fair, it's just a pair of cat's ears, isn't it? So I, I liked them and they kept me nice and warm. Don't get me wrong, you know, they're little sort of on the broken side. That was broke when I got it. I should have asked for a reduction on it really. But anyway, so Dan got me a new pair. Now I've been wearing these all weekend, so they've got makeup on them already. But these are lovely that way round. So I've got a new pair. So he got me those. Obviously he got me some boots and stuff like that and treated me for the weekends. Went to um, Toby Carvery Hotel. Never heard of a Toby Carvery Hotel. 
had Toby Carvery one day and fish and chips another day. Um, that's the rubbish food I'm talking about. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't eat much of the Toby Carvery. And it turned out in the end, anyway, I got up later on that night, I was looking for my plate and Dan had ate it. <laughs> so he'd got on, he'd picked up the wrong plate. He thought it was his. Right, I'll do that in a minute. What else did Dan get me? Oh, he's got me something else, but I, I don't know where it is now. Oh, I can't get my hands on it. But he got me this jacket anyway now. So I've got a new jacket and it's so lovely and warm. And it's just a small sort of a jacket. But there's something special with this, right? The downfall is you do have to carry a battery pack in it, <laughs> a little battery pack in the pocket. But you turn this on here, you've got all these like uh, settings, it'll glow up red, and you've got all these settings. It'll, you can either, like, you can have it all heated, or you can just choose to have your back heated, or just your right side, or your left side. Oh, my battery ran out there. I can hear Dan, he's in the background having a good old rant. So I thought that's why I'm coming in. Yes, yeah, so anyway, going back to my jacket. I don't know where I got to now because the battery ran out. Yes, yeah, so this, oh, I've left it on. Turn it off. And you get a good day's wear out of that as well. That battery lasts quite a long time. So you're a dog walker or something. Oh, I think this is brilliant. I absolutely, now we've been actually asked to review things like this before in the past, but we've just turned it down. But yeah, so Dan brought me that. He also got me the same sort of colours, black and white, but then like a waistcoaty thing. Body warmer, that's what it is. So you can wear it under a coat or, you know, how people have wear body warmers. I've never worn a body warmer ever, actually. But um, that does the same as well. It, it's all heated as well, so fantastic. Um, did get a party on the day as well. I might throw a little clip of the party food in now. Now you would have seen that if I could have gotten the clip off my phone. <laughs> and I was so spoiled, honestly. It, it was just wonderful. And then the next day, then we had a big spread full of like Sunday roast dinner and everything, roast beef and everything. And even a homemade cake. So I felt like a very lucky special girl at the weekend and a big thank you to Dan's family, obviously. Um, yeah, what else did I get? Um, oh, I get Alexa, I keep forgetting about Alexa. Oh. She thinks I'm talking to her now. Yeah, I got that. It's like a big dot. Is it an eco dot or something? Echo dot. So I've got uh, one of those. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I was a very lucky girl that day. Right, it's not irritating. I'm just having a good old scratch. Um, I don't know whether this is gonna do anything or what. If it don't do anything, I'm not even gonna bother with the second one. There's no point, is there? But hey, yeah, I'm gonna give it a good go. Right, I need to vacuum pack this properly and get, get shot of it somewhere. First spin on the go. <laughs> so that'll be one set of pyjamas down. Um, somebody actually left a comment on my uh, video the other day. I forget your name, sorry. I, well, maybe I'll look back at it. And she's just bought herself a new washing machine because this way now she gets to wash it instead of her mum. And I think she's really happy with it. So good luck with your new washing machine. I will try and find your name because I found it quite sweet. Uh, the message, it was actually so sweet. I'll see if I can find it. So it's from the lovely Moon Chitter, Chitter, Chitter. Moon, I think you'll try and wind me up with that name, but anyway, Moon Chitter. I'm gonna say Chitter instead of the other one. I just bought one, it's bigger than mine, and, it's, and she's like a new girl with a new toy, bless her. I really loved it washes really well which they do they actually do as long as you don't overload them they wash wash honestly better than sometimes down there if i'm totally honest um and she was very excited to have her what be able to wash her clothes herself since her mother has done it all the time at home so yeah have fun with your new washing machine moon chitter 
just going through a few other messages um lots of birthday messages so thank you all so much and a massive massive thank you to the lovely lovely rh and actually saying that saying that i've got something else as well today um mm -mm -mm. Happy birthday. Oh, it's from Janie. I didn't know it was from you, Janie. I've only actually gone on to the email. Thank you so much, Janie. She sent me over a little birthday gift as well. That's Kayak Dread. I, I can never say her name. Kayak Dread Girl. She's got a lovely channel. She is so lovely. She does like, goes off in a little minivan now and again, and she has a narrow boat as well. So go over and check her channel out. I've, I've told you to in the past, so please go and do that. So thank you, Janie. I didn't realise it was from you. Thank you so much. And the lo lovely Lynn had actually made me one of these for my birthday. And she made Dan his hat. And she's actually now asking, bless her. She does make these, by the way. Um, she has like eBay um, account, she sells them on eBay and Facebook. Now I don't really know, she hasn't sort of put links in or anything like that. So Linda, if you'd like to leave a comment in the comments below and if anyone's interested, contact Linda. Um, I, I don't know how, to, how that could work. But anyway, bless her, she's actually asking me whether my twin sister would like one, because obviously it was my twin sister's birthday as well. So I shall ask her, thank you, Linda, that's very kind. And she's asking also how I'm doing with my healthy eating. Now I'll be totally honest, right, we had an odd day of like, you know, fish and chips and then this, but I have actually been trying, like really trying. Last night now, I just had a couple of wraps. And, um, uh, yeah, I'm not losing nothing. It's just, I'm still the, the exact same weight as I was four weeks ago. I checked it today. <laughs> so, not even a pound has dropped. So, something needs changing. And it's not me eating. I know what it is. It's, it's obviously the drinking and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I need to sort of try and cut down on that if I do want to try and lose weight, basically. But... Apart from that, yeah, I'm, I've got, I've made a salad bowl up yesterday, last night when we, well, yesterday when I got home and stuff like that. So I'll be eating salads again now this week. Um, right, I must crack on with my washing. So that's just stopped spinning. Now this is just my pyjama bottoms. I can't put the whole set in together. Well, I mean you can, but they won't wash properly. So yep, they've come out all lovely and clean. Let's get them in the tumble dryer. Right, so I'm in now. I'm about to prepare Dan's dinner, which is going to be tacos today. I really wanted it to be tomorrow, so I could have said taco Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so anyway, I just got some peppers. I only bought these yesterday from Morrison's. I've got this one out, look. Looks a bit rank on the end there, doesn't it? Well, I'm not impressed with that. I'll tell you what, this stinks. This is Ugh, making me gag all day. So yeah, that's that looks like that might be a total all goner, that one. So that's a shame, but I will chop it up and see, just to double check. So three peppers are gonna be chopped up, prepared. I'm gonna do the whole lot, because they're only small ones, actually. If you buy them singly, you get lovely big ones, don't you? But then they can be like 50, 60p each, whereas you can get a pack, free pack for like, pound ten. <laughs> I'm not being tight or anything but you know I'll do the job anyway won't it I've got a funny way of doing these yeah so let me just prepare these and then get these chopped up so Dan has actually just finished sharpening my knife I'll tell you what it's actually really good again now so when it comes to tacos, I do actually like to just do like little thin strips. I always think they taste nicer like that. Yeah, it's well sharp. There we go. I did try to rescue a little bit of the yellow one, but majority of that was just, oh, well, it was naff. A uh, little bit of red onion. Um, I had a lot of people say that they really liked my red onions that I'd made the the other day, my crispy, Mazzy crispy fried onions special. 
Um, if you haven't watched that, please get over and watch that because <laughs> that was that's a hidden secret that I've been I've been cooking those for years and years and years as long as I can ever remember, and they're absolutely lovely. Right, I need to sort this out so I can get cooking these off. <laughs> I often get asked, oh, you use red onions a lot and not white. Well, I do actually, because I find them quite very versatile. And, um, you know, red ones you can use in salads and everything. And they are oh, honestly a lot sweeter and they, they caramelize lovely. Depends on what sort of a dish really you're making. But yeah, I always buy red onions. Right, let's get these fried off down to nothing. So El, old El Paso is the kit today we're using. I always buy these kits. Smoky bacon, uh, smoky barbecue, mild flavour. They used to come hotter, but they don't anymore. Uh, these were like buy one, get the get sort of the second for a price. So I've got some jalapenos and some sour cream for Dan. Chopped up a few jalapenos. I want to just add a few into there. And then the rest is going to be the sprinkling on top at the end. Which, so let's give that a little bit of a stir, a little bit of a kick. So what I'm going to do is cook all this down first, keep it aside and then do the mince, you see. A bit late. Well, yeah, I can do the mince afterwards. I can always reheat in this dinner, which is good. So I've just realised what the time is and I want to go maybe in another 10 minutes over time with this. So at this point I'm going to have to wrap this video up unfortunately because time's shoving on now. So you ain't going to get to see dinner or my hair or my big pile of washing until tomorrow. So I'm going to love you and leave you and come back tomorrow. Let's all see this together and see whether it's done any good, shall we? Oh, still looks dark. Oh, this ain't going to be good is it? Anyway, fingers crossed, right? Gonna love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Love y'all. Bye!